hi everyone and welcome previously we have uh, uploaded one video regarding bidirectional modbus serial to tcp ip converter in the python using pymodbus library but that code is no longer working okay so if you want to see the code then you can you know visit the page using this uh, code option and here is the previous code which we have used to create our own bidirectional modbus serial to tcp ip converter okay so this code is no longer works now uh, in this video we will cover the new code for bidirectional modbus serial to tcp ip converter in the python using pymodbus library so if you have modbus serial device and if you want to convert your modbus serial device data to modbus tcp data then you can use this code to uh, perform that action okay so your python will act as a modbus serial master or client which will collect the data from your modbus serial device and then it will act as a modbus tcp ip server and it can deliver that data to your modbus tcp ip client also your modbus tcp ip client can update the values and it can be transferred to your modbus serial devices okay so it's a bi-directional your uh, modbus serial device can also update the value and that value is also visible to your modbus tcp ip client and your tcp ip client can also update the value and that value will also be visible to your modbus serial device okay so let's see how you can do that using python and pymorbus library so if you want to download the code then you can use this link to download the code and it's working i have tested it and we are also going to test this code right now so i can copy this code okay and before that i can copy the file name here okay i can create a new python file here so python file i'm going to paste the python file name okay now we are going to copy the code okay and i'm going to paste the entire code here okay that's it i can save it now i can copy this command okay now i can open command prompt and i will navigate to the desktop and uh, we will paste that command here now we will understand so once you have created this file on your location you have to run this command to make it work okay to create your own bidirectional modbus serial to tcp converter so you have to call python and then after you have to call the file which is rtu to tcp.py and then uh, which kind of log you require that you have to specify here now here in the port you have to specify your modbus serial device port okay so let me start my modbus serial device so i'm going to use morsim okay this is the open morsim software which is open source and free morbus simulator so you can download and you can use without paying any charges now i'm going to create my morbus serial device on the com1 port okay and i'm going to simulate few holding resistors Okay, now uh, our Modbus serial device is up and running. You can see here, we have 10 number of folding register and our Modbus serial device is running on the COM1 with 9600 baud rate, data bits 8, parity none and the stop bit 1. Okay, so that thing we have to specify here. So our device is running on the COM1 right now, but our COM1 and COM2 is internally connected. So whatever data is available on the COM1, the same data is available on the COM2. And one application can only use one COM port. So that's why I have to do this. So Morsim will use COM1. And to get the same data, I can use COM2. Okay, so that's why I have specified COM2 here. Now baud rate is 9600. And... Uh, then after you have to provide the Modbus TCP server IP because the Python will going to create own Modbus TCP server inside it to deliver the data to Modbus TCP clients. Okay, so here you have to specify IP address. So which IP address you want to use to create your own Modbus TCP server. And here in the last you have to provide the port number for your Modbus TCP device. And here you have to provide which slave you want to uh, convert to the TCP okay so right now here you can see the device id is one so once you specify device id one then it will read the data from this device id and then it will convert the data to modbus tcp device okay and if you have multiple uh, devices with multiple slave id then you can specify the different different slave id here okay so if you want to convert the data for two devices like one and two okay if you have two devices with a slave id one and slave id two then you can specify one and two so it will convert both the device 
into the Morbus TCP data. Okay, so I hope this format is clear. So first of all, you have to call the Python and then after you have to call your file and then after you have to specify log, okay, which kind of log you require. And then after you have to specify the COM port of your Morbus serial device. I am using simulator, so that's why I have used COM2. But if you have any physical devices, then you can use that COM port here. Then after you can specify baud rate of your uh, Morbus serial device. And then after you can specify the Morbus TCP server IP address and the port number and number of slave ID. Okay, that's it. Everything is done. Now we can, you know, start our bidirectional converter. So I can hit enter. Okay, now the spelling of debug is wrong. So instead of capital debug, we have to use small debug. Okay, as you can see here, choose from critical error warning info in debug. So instead of capital, I have to use in small case. So debug. Okay, and that's it. I can start. Okay, no error means it is running. And here you can see my Morbus simulator is running. Okay, on the COM1, which is connected to the COM2. Now I can use open more scan software. Okay, more scan which is open source Morbus scanner, which is acting as a Morbus TCP client for me. Okay, now uh, we know that our Morbus TCP server is running on 127.0.0.1 on the port number 502. So what I can do is I can click on connection, I can click on connect, I can use IP address and the same port and I can press OK. And I have selected holding register here, you can see the, the value which you see here the same value is available here so basically this code is converting my morbus serial data into tcp ip data and it's a bi-directional conversion okay so if i want to write something on 40006 okay so i can also write from my morbus tcp client so i can double click here i can write value 66 here and that is also updated here okay so this is how this code will act as a bidirectional Morbus serial to TCP converter or you can say bidirectional Morbus serial to TCP gateway. So you don't have to buy any physical gateway. Okay, you can use Raspberry Pi. Okay, and you can use this code inside the Raspberry Pi and your Raspberry Pi will act as a Morbus serial to TCP converter for you. You can buy raspberry pi 0 to w okay for this application so it will be cost effective and you can also use some other application inside the raspberry pi along with this application okay so it will be the cost effective solution for your testing and development purpose so i hope this thing is clear and if you want to download this python code then you can visit our github repository and you can download this code uh, let me edit this code so here you have to use debug in the small case okay otherwise it won't work so this is how you have to run the code you have to use python okay or you have to call the python and then after you have to provide the file name then after you have to provide which kind of log you want and then after you have to provide the port number baud rate of your Morbus serial device and then after you have to provide the Morbus TCP device IP address and port number on which you want to create your Morbus TCP server and after that you have to provide the slave ID from where you are going to read the data in case of Linux operating system or in case of Raspberry Pi the port number will be like this okay and in the Windows operating system the port number will be like this so you have to take care of these things okay so if you want this code then you can go to our website you can click here on the code and you will get the code from our github repository and i have explained how you can run this code okay so you can use open more sim software to simulate morbus serial device okay and you can use open more scan software to create your morbus tcp client which is connected with this python script and which is acting as morbus tcp server as well as morbus master okay so i hope this thing is clear and if you still have any questions or any doubt then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere otherwise you can also mail me or you can also comment on this video also you can ping me on linkedin so let's meet in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you